Hello and welcome back to our equipment system series. In this episode we're going to do two things. We're going to work on showing you how to make thumbnails for each item and then we're going to go through and show you how to uh, make it so that when we click on an item it will appear in the correct slot. So let's go through first of all the thumbnail stuff. So the thumbnails are really simple to make. All you've got to do is find the model of the item. So let's say this jacket here, put that into your scene and position it however you like and put your camera into the correct position. Then with it selected, you want to go to the rendering options on the details panel and tick the render custom depth pass. Click on that. And then when you've done that, you can go to the little arrow up here, go to high resolution screenshot. And if you, un if you, sorry, if you tick the use custom depth as mask, what I do is it will cut out the shape perfectly. So that way you've got a transparent background already for you. I usually turn my screenshot size multiplier up so I've got a bit of a high resolution, but that's all. I'll click the take screenshot and I'll give you a link down here that you can click on and show you where it's saved. Now it normally will save it inside the project folder itself as this. And then you can drag it into Photoshop to make your thumbnails, which is what I've done here. And you can see I've made them all. So I've done all my thumbnails. I'm then imported them all into Unreal. Let's just remove this. And if I go to my equipment system folder and UI, I made this icons folder and here they all are. Now you see I've also made a none one and that's so I can clear the option as well. So if I take the shirt off, I can do, if I take the beard off, I can do without having to do like a, a topless uh, scan or anything like that. So let's put these all into our data table. So in your data table, you want to go through and add the thumbnails all here. Just by choosing each row and choosing which texture is going to be used simple as that and that's your good to go and if you were testing out that right now you'll see that these are now appear inside your game so if I go into the game so if I hit tab you can see the individual icons now appear for each of the uh, equipment slots okay so now we've got that we now want to be able to click on the individual item slots in the inventory and make that appear in the associable uh, slot on the left hand side of the screen. So what that works is in our wardrobe UI, we currently already do have a way to trigger when we've clicked on those slots because that's how we change the inventory over. Um, and what you'll notice here is that we've really got the slot array of all the individual slots. So we need to use this in combined with the category here to figure out which slot is the active slot. Now, the best way of doing this is making sure that the array here is the exact same order as the category. But one thing is missing from our array here. We need to add one more to it and that's our facial hair. So I'm just gonna add that to my slot here. I'm just gonna add it over here on the right. So we're going to right click and duplicate that. And I'm gonna put that above that one. And we're gonna name this one facial hair slot and give that the correct facial hair category so they should all have the correct category associated to individual slots what i want okay so when i do click on one we are going to get the category coming out of it uh, but i need to store what one is the active slot so i want to make this uh oh hang on add the pin for the facial hair add that to it i need to make this order here match the order of our, our enum so let's go to our enum and here i've got torso legs hair facial hair accessory feet and weapon so these seven here need to be the exact same order as the seven array items so the easy way of doing that is just rearranging these uh, arrays here so we're going to put this disconnect them all first and that one and i'm in the correct order so torso we're going to top one followed by legs then hair in my case the head and then we've got facial hair then we've got accessory Then feet and then weapons. 
hit compile and there we go so we have these slots in the same order as these slots which means then if i go to my slot selected here i can drag out my slot array which i've got here i'm just going to promote this to a variable first of all what i had done already but i hadn't so i'm just going to promote that to a variable and that'll be the slot array and let's put that in before our for each loop there <clears throat> there you go uh, so on the slot selected custom event that is called when it is clicked on we're going to take the category and we're going to take the slot array and find which item it is in it now because we're using an enum we can actually get the byte from this so we can say to int from that and it'll take the byte so the first option which is uh, torso is going to equal to zero and so forth okay so I can use that to get the slot in question that I've clicked on and I'm going to store this one as a variable and that be the active slot now we know we've got the active slot we now need to be able to call back when we've clicked on that inventory item so we need to close this and uh, we'll close this now as well go to back to our UI and go to the inventory wardrobe inventory so this thing will generate all the slots for us and when we do that we do need to bind that event over to our uh, wardrobe itself so on the graph here just get rid of these ones um, when we take to display the inventory we need to tell it to link the slots that we're adding here to that uh, wardrobe UI now the way we're going to do that is get the hold of the wardrobe UI now easier said than done because at the moment it's harder to go up than it is to go down the chain so what we're going to do is I'm going to create a variable on here called wardrobe UI and in here we're going to just set it to be a wardrobe UI widget and I'll make that editable like so and hit compile I'm then going to go back to my wardrobe UI, grab that inventory here in the graph and in the construct here, drag that out, get and set wardrobe UI to the self. So now we've got that reference to this wardrobe from our inventory. And then we want to go to the individual inventory slots and set up the button there. So I go to inventory slot, go to the graph, and in here we're going to create an uh, event dispatcher, and this will be uh, item selected. So this is where my computer decided to stop recording for whatever reason. But what you have to do is go to item selected and add the row name variable to the inputs. So click on the little plus icon, add a variable called row name, and set the type here to name. Then you go to wardrobe equipment button and choose the on clicked event, which will generate your event here for on clicked wardrobe equipment button. We then want to call the item selected. That way we know what item we've clicked on. So drag out your item selected event dispatcher, do call to get the call node. Then you should see the row name appear. If you don't, just compile it and you may have to refresh the node as well by going to refresh nodes. Drag in your row name and you're done here. You want to head over then to your wardrobe inventory. On your wardrobe inventory, you want to drag from your create inventory equipment slot widget, which you previously have on your display inventory event, and you drag this return value out and do a bind event to item selected, which is the event dispatcher from our equipment slot. Once you've got this, you drag your event down and choose a custom event, and I've named mine item selected. And now the computer seems to record the rest of the uh, footage, so I'll return back to me. Back to me. And we can now handle what one we've selected. And because we have this wardrobe UI, it makes it a lot easier to do. So with wardrobe UI, drag out and do get. And we're going to uh, get the active slot. And then from the active slot, we're going to set the row name for it. Set row name. So we've told it to uh, 
it basically equip it basically onto that slot now the slot won't update straight away with the tier 2 update so if we go back to the wardrobe equipment slot and then in here we want to go to the graph and we are going to tell it to update its contents so up here we've got the refresh slot details so we're going to call that event from our inventory here so go wardrobe active slot refresh slot details and that will update the image inside of our slot so let's put this to the test by let's first of all save everything and then push play Go to tab, click on here. Oh, I have to click on that first and then here. And you can see now it will set the slot to the correct item. So forth. I can clear it as well. And have no problems with that. And that's it for now. Um, so a few things we're going to do next time. We're going to just tidy up a couple of things here. And then we'll make it so it actually changes the models on the actual character. So join us in the next part right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can watch that part plus all the other videos before everyone else. Big shout out and thank you to all my patrons for their continued support as well as my YouTube members. If you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.